Welcome back, Top Fighter folks. Officer Greg, Jeff, and over there, Brianna, <laughs> out here with you today. Hey, Jeff forgot about these things. I think he left them, I in, did. He left you them in his pants pockets one day and just realized uh, today, we're out here, happened to be shooting a uh, rifled, uh, rifled barrel on this Remington, and it reminded him that uh, Denver from Australia had sent these slow grunts. You remember a while back we shot those big green, I can't remember what we called those either, but they were some of the most accurate slugs we'd ever shot. We are gonna give them a try. Actually, Brianna's gonna give them a try. I'm gonna stand safely behind. We only have four, it'll be a nice short video, but it'll be interesting to see what these do. Brianna's here in her new bulletproof vest, <laughs> rifle rated bulletproof vest. No. So, oh. RTS Tactical sent these out uh, because they thought, they thought she needed to be armored. So, uh, We'll do a, a video on those later, though, but I was so excited that they came in, that, and she was excited to get her vest. Yeah, the tough later vest. Let's get to these, and um, you want to show them your ring? Oh, yeah, the ring. For the closer. Look at that. She's the arm, engaged. The arm's engaged. <laughs> is, that, is that the right finger? <laughs> wrong hand. Oh, okay. Wrong finger, wrong, wrong hand. Finger, wrong hand. Wrong everything. Right, uh, rifled barrel, but since these are from Australia, we actually had to go with a left-hand twist instead of a right-hand twist <laughs> because everything swirled. That's what took so long to find that left-hand twist you barrel. Find an Australian twist barrel, it was a little, a little hard to do. So <laughs> let's get to it. Now on this day, we originally planned to test out a slug called the Hammerhead. I used a type of powder called steel. It's normally used with steel shot with really heavy loads, and we just did not get any ignition with this powder. And this was one of the recommended powder loads for this particular slug too. We'll be using long shot for the next time we test these. Fortunately, I had a small number of these tactic drive slugs, which we tested a couple years ago. They worked great through a smooth bore. They worked great through a rifled choke. But how will they work through full rifling? That's what we're going to find out today. We'll also be driving them a little faster this time, around 1,600 feet per second. These will go off. The other one, These will go off. I'm so mad that that powder didn't work. I like that little vote of confidence there. These ones will work, okay? Will probably possibly work. He I says think. crossing his fingers. Yeah. These ones will, I think, work. Do you want to raise the bag or are you trying to raise the butt? It looks awkward as hell. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. See you, Walter. Wow. Yep, he's gone. At these higher velocities and through full rifling, the slug performed quite well. Very good stability. And as you can see, the slug delivered a tremendous amount of energy to the watermelon. But the slug did impact a little high on the watermelon. That's no fault of Brianna or of the slug. Greg and I both thought we needed to adjust the rear sight on his new rifled barrel, and that's the reason for that. We should have just left it alone. But we did put it back to its original setting. God, I'm mad that those didn't work, those first ones. Okay, lead plate, how will it perform on that? Maybe punch all the way through? Any, uh, any wagers? Um, not all the way through. Yeah, I think it'll make a deep cavity. Man, those things scream. In shot number two, the second time Brianna has ever shot this gun, the elevation was a lot better, and she was only off by about half an inch from hitting the center of the star. And from here, she just gets more and more accurate, believe it or not. You hit a little <laughs> left, but you're, yeah. we're, we've been playing with the sights on that thing all day, trying to get him. We're still experimenting with it. That's pretty accurate. This is pretty stuck in, pretty lodged in here. The fused. Or melted. Yeah, welded, fused. Mm -hmm. It's pretty malleable. Malleable, there you go. <laughs> Big words. Can I get it out? 
<laughs> I think it's part of the it's plate even now. got some of the, the green paint on it. Yeah, the, I can't remember theory. what that stuff was, some kind of powder coating. People like powder coating slugs for some reason, and I think it's so they look pretty on Facebook. That's the only reason. It's like they don't have, they don't polish their fingernails, but they they make their slugs look all fancy. They don't want to admit that, but that's... It rust. I'm kidding. And it then, actually prevents uh, uh, fouling the barrel, I believe. I, on, so I read. On closer examination, we realized that. Oh. That was there too. Oh, you always fall for it. <laughs> you got me. You got me. We don't smoke pots on this channel. We vaporize them. Does that sound like a new catchphrase? I don't know. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. We vape them. We vape the pots. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. Wow! That was splash-tastic. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd Did you it... see that red geyser? Yeah. My goodness, that was a 50-foot geyser of red goo. Was... It only took Brianna three shots before she was right on target. Absolutely impressive shooting with an impressive slug. And look at that absolutely ferocious transfer of energy there. That was two, two and a half gallons of water. And that was just a plastic pot great target. I think we'll use this again. We're out here today with a jug of water to simulate bladder tissue. Above that we have a rubber ball to simulate the kidneys, a cantaloupe to simulate the head, an orange cone to simulate wearing a hat, and all captured in a high-tech ballistic fleece. Let's try it out. You be the judge. That's the best target we've ever had. It's beautiful. I thought that was a fall. It's going to get you lots of views. <laughs> you probably hit two million subs. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to want that on every video from now on. That's, That's right. The problem. Edward Sarkissian's dad brought all that junk back from World War II. Yeah. Okay, I'm aiming at the water. The bladder. Also. The blue thing. The, yeah, the white dot on the blue That's thing. The That's the belly button on the bladder, underneath the kidney, underneath the he head. <laughs> And with the orange traffic cone to simulate wearing a hat. Okay, let's do it. You ready? This is how they test things in Australia, yeah, by the way. It's actual FBI testing in Australia. Yes. Oh my. Wow. Oh, you forgot about the, no, we, the foamy we, thing. That was to you simulate the colon. Thing. And the white foamy thing to simulate the colon. Well, I think you figured out where to aim these things. You did fantastic. Yeah. How's how's the shoulder? Oh, I'm good. Look, there's not even have a mark on there. I'm good. Yep. Do you ever get bruised or anything? Um, the Russian prototype ones. Really? Yeah, really? I mean, I barely noticed it. It was really, really little. You just couldn't wear like sleeveless shirts for a, a week or something, or, or <laughs> no. just put a little makeup there. So, so what happened? In homage to Paul Harrell, clearly she hit the belly button right on the right school nose. <laughs> the round clearly passed through the simulated uh, bowels. <laughs> I thought it was a bladder. Bladder. <laughs> Lifted the head off of the body. The hat did 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 it, it, it tapped it. it did sent the uh, orange safety hat flying into the air <laughs> sent the simulated spleen airborne <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. you gotta, i know you gotta keep okay never mind us just doing some real-time fact checking okay what after it went through the bladder it uh clearly ruptured the colon <laughs> and sent the explosive bowels out against the hillside. And of course, no round was captured in the high-tech police blackstop. Backstop. I thought that stopped everything. It didn't even hit it. <laughs> okay. I don't even, I don't even... I... oh boy, that came right at the camera. Stop it, it's all right. It's right here. No, it's right there. It's all right. Not funny, that'll be a sweet little thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, don't know if the, I don't know if the fluid shoved this out of the way or what happened, but it does not have a hole in it. So I'm gonna wrap this up and give it to grandma for Christmas. <laughs> She'll never know, make actually. Sure she signs it. You yeah. Make sure you sign it. Grandma will never know, actually. Yep. Most things in her house look like that anyway, so. <laughs> I like that. It looks cozy. It does look cozy. Unfortunately, it's not a very cozy afternoon. It's <laughs> no. 112 still here. Yeah. Well, Brianna was aiming at the cap on the jug and nailed it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We got a little silly on this one. 
I hope you'll forgive us. We always appreciate you taking the time to rate the video. Good or bad, it all helps. And while I have you here, Danny will be making a return very soon. You'll be seeing that video in just a few days. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.